Hello, glorious East Nishnabotna River in the town of Red Oak. Right down there, about 100 yards, maybe 200 yards, maybe a quarter mile. How many yards are in a mile anyway? There was a big old boo-boo that happened. A uh, co-op downriver accidentally dumped 265,000 gallons of liquid fertilizer into this river causing supposedly a 50 mile long fish kill leading all the way to the Missouri River. And we are gonna start up river to see if we can catch some fish. Maybe some fish swam up this way and got away from it. Maybe they were smarter than they looked. Maybe they survived. This is also a real good hole, according to Clint and stuff. What is going on, you dirty old stash leaks? It is me and I am uh, two hours away from home. It is 26 degrees, it was just snowing and we are still continuing on with the Let's catch more walleyes this spring than carp, and we've been pretty successful. If you're new here, check out the past couple videos, pretty good walleye videos. Subscribe if you like fishing videos. I'd appreciate it, but uh, yeah. I don't know how much we're gonna catch today. If we're gonna catch something, it's probably gonna be here, or it's probably gonna be at the mouth of the Missouri River, but there's a few stops in between that we're gonna see how many dead fish we can count, how many species of dead fish we can find, and I'll also link some uh, other videos down below of some other things that people did. There's one guy that walked the river, had permission. We're gonna try not to trespass. We're gonna not trespass. And we're gonna just see how many we can find without trespassing. But first, I made a two hour drive and I wanna make some casts. So we're gonna throw some swimmers on this little rock wall here and see if we can't catch a uh, big old soccer. Come along with me. Pretty sad uh, story that we'll dive into a little bit more later. But for now, this is a fishing channel. Let's go fishing. Stuff and things, but yeah. Oakley doakley do. I forgot my big box of baby whales. But luckily, my unorganized self threw some baby whales in the other box that they're not supposed to be in, just in haste. So I lucked out and got four, but we got a sandbar up here into some deeper water. Clint has also caught some 24 inch saugers. And I do want to mention that this spot was next on my walleye spot anyway, spot list anyway, whether this happened or not. So I'm gonna do some exploring, figuring out what all survived and hopefully catch a fish out of this hole cause word on the street is it's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. There's something down there. That was alive. I probably should have brought night crawlers today, you know? I mean, obviously main goal is saw guys and walleyes and such this spring, but in this sort of investigative situation, I think getting just about anything would be better than getting nothing. I was definitely alive though. Definitely didn't bite it, but it definitely was alive. Not too far from the spill either, which is good. And stuff. Oh shit. I think that hit it. That hit it. I figured we should give it a little bit because it's been kind of a time of day thing this year and just spring in general. I got something and I'm pretty sure it hit it. Don't go to the bridge. Don't go to the bridge. We had one. Could hardly reel because my line's frozen, but we had one. And I've been here for like an hour. I mean, I've, I've been giving it time to see if one's home because this is kind of our spot to see if one's home. I don't know what was home, but there's definitely some things that moved up onto that sandbar over there. And I hope we can get one. I really hope we can get one. Wish it was just a little warmer. Not that the ice really caused me to lose that fish, but certainly didn't help, you know. There's another look at my look at my pole. I pulled it out of one and into another. That came off. <laughs> that came off the fish my swim bait was sitting on and then hit a different fish. I mean 
you're into carp fishing, boys and girls, it seems like the East Nishnabotna is still popping off. I do have some corn in my truck, but the main goal of this operation, well, the main goal is to make sure we can find some fish that were still alive somewhere on the river, but that's been accomplished. That has been accomplished. That one eat it? Might be hooked in the mouth. But the next goal, he ate it. Are you kidding me? He absolutely ate it in the mouth. <laughs> and he's much larger. Much larger. Um, but the other main goal is just to count some dead fish, see how many species, and see what the thing affected. But that is a carp in the mouth, boys and girls. In the mouth. right in the lip right in the lip all right not a sauger but pretty sick little bridge fish i was hoping this uh, video would actually have some fish in it and even though it's a dirt bag carp it is a dirt bag carp in the mouth on a swimmer right above the toxic fertilizer spill And yeah, I'm gonna make a, a few more casts. See if I can get a sauger or game fish on on the swimmer. And then we're moving on, moving downstream. I drove over the bridge right next to uh, where the spot was, and I'll show you it in a second. But I didn't see any dead fish from on top of the bridge. Kind of a few days late. And also, up the way, I'll have to show you guys now that the sun's out. Millions of minutes. Might have already left that part in. But yeah, I'm gonna play around a little bit. Then we're going exploring three or four more spots to look at. And the day isn't getting any younger. And stuff. That was an effing sauger, boys and girls. I don't know why my camera shut off there, but that was a sauger. That was a little sauger or a walleye. It kind of had a white tip, but that was what we were after. That was it. That was it. Damn. They do exist. I thought we were just in a pile of carp and that was it, but... I like rolled over a carp back and the sauger ate it. What do we got here? Lots of fish, man. Lots and lots. <laughs> it turned out to be pretty fun. I didn't think I'd catch anything today. Another carp in the mouth. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, shit. Imagine what we'd be doing if we had corn. Yep. That's exactly what I thought it was. Our third ever mirror carp in the mouth on the baby whale. That thing is sick. And it's also giant. <laughs> Holy balls, man. Do carp eat minnows more in the winter or something? Because they can't get bugs? It must be, man. That must be. I actually want to get my hands on this one. Does anybody know how many mirrors I've caught? I think only two. And then Colton caught one. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember, but not very many. Mirrors are kind of hard to find. This is for the European stash stainers. Swim bait eating mirror carp. Damn. <laughs> like I said, man, I thought today was just going to kind of be a 
it's 25 degrees out let's go look at some dead fish and poke them just seriously not very far we'll go down there with the camera here in a second and show you guys the destination but also like i said i linked some at least one video down below that i watched the other day that shows shows the carnage i'm showing that there's still hope for the river and i think that's pretty cool three two and a half confirmed species whatever that one was was either a walleye i think it was a walleye or it was a sauger or it was a channel cat it was definitely silver and it definitely was too skinny to be a carp so let's get this bud in take a look at him third ever mirror and definitely the biggest i mean as far as carp go that one's pretty sick on the baby whale weird growth on his head that's gonna be hard to show but i mean not a saw guy but i've caught more saw guys and more walleyes this year than i have mirrors so that's pretty sick it's gonna be kind of a longer video because we still got places to explore for now let's get this dude back <sighs> damn I should have fished this river sooner. Water's clean, deep hole right off the side of the road, not a far walk. Big saugers sometimes. Big mirrors and commons that like to eat baby whales. All right, seriously, no more fishing from this area in this video unless I catch a different species. But I'll tell you for sure, I'm gonna make some more casts because my guides are finally not freezing. And stuff. Alrighty, this is actually ramp number two. Ramp number one had some pretty interesting things happen at. Talked to a DNR guy for a while. He was real nice. I think his name was Brandon. And um, yeah, I asked him if he wanted to be in the video and he said no, because he might get in trouble, might have to file for something. Basically, he just didn't want any problems with his office, which I respect. And uh, yeah, I chatted with him for a while. There's also a news lady there. What was her name? Bella or something? Channel 6? Sure you don't need anything else? I don't think so. Alright, well. Um, I'm fine if you want to record me recording for your video. <laughs> yeah. You're just out here looking around. What's your name? Bella. Bella and... L-L-A with cool. Channel 6. W-O-W-T. Found some red stuff. No dead fish. I'm going to keep looking for dead fish and good luck with your story. Thank you. Yeah. All the way from Omaha coming to check it out. So it's been an interesting couple hours since the first part of this video that was actually kind of a, you know, a feel good moment. Am I even recording on this thing? I am. First part of this video was kind of a feel good moment because I was not far from where it happened upstream. And even though it was mainly carp and then some random thing, there's a ton of minnows and there's fish living and thriving. So if anyone's wondering about this river, the East Nishnabotna or however you say it, Anything above the co-op in Red Elk is actually pretty fire. It almost seemed like there was more fish there than there ever has been. Like, it was a deep hole. And, um, yeah, Clint's fished it a lot. And the fish were piled up there. Not game fish, but fish were piled up. But ramp number two. We got some things to look at for sure. I was hoping to find some fish to poke at today. Not really hoping, but just wanted to at least have something for you guys to look at without me having to steel footage from other videos from the day of but uh yeah we got some grassers we got some common some more grassers and i'm just gonna kind of walk this bank for a second i'll let you know if i find anything else but like i was saying with the uh dnr guy luckily luckily it was winter early spring before all the game fish moved up and yeah, mainly just carp, he said. Tiny channel cats. Said he heard of two saugers. And he also heard of a couple decent channel cats. But uh, yeah. I'm going to walk the other way. Alrighty. Saw live frog. That's good. Bad thing about this whole thing is not... There's another frog. Get out of there, frog. You'll die. There's a couple frogs. Tiny little frogs. What else was I gonna say? There's a lot of frogs, actually. Oh yeah, a lot of other non-marine wildlife is dying because of this. Um, but yeah, he said uh, it was the longest stretch of fish kill he's ever experienced. 
or that he knows of in southwest Iowa, maybe in Iowa in general. And definitely the most product that got dumped. I said 200, hey, there's a bone. I said 265,000 gallons. After reading online, there's been a lot of different answers to that, and I'm sure it's hard to keep track of. We were also talking about this redness here. Comment down below. Is that iron? Or does that have something to do with the fertilizer that got dumped in? We're thinking it's, uh, well, his expert opinion. I'm not an expert on much. His expert opinion is the fertilizer is a clear substance. So there should be no reason that it would make it red. But uh, yeah, there's some footprints from other folks looking around in this area. We're gonna go up here. There's some bigger fish piled up up here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get over to them, but I'm sure this shit gonna try. But what I was getting at in that long rant is uh, he he think a lot of people online think nobody's gonna get in trouble for this, but he's hopeful that somebody will. And obviously, people make mistakes, but the valve was open for two days. It dumped. Saw two experts online. I'll give you the top and the bottom. Anywhere from $460,000 worth of fertilizer to $860,000 of fertilizer. So they already lost out on a lot of money, which is kind of a little bit of karma on the situation already, but maybe fines, hopefully fines. Not gonna be able to get over there, but there is a boat load of fish some of them look like channel cats to be honest but majority carp we got way up there we got some more i'm not sure why we didn't see much in red oak but yeah there's definitely some dead fish and i'm definitely not wasting my time fishing here all righty boys and girls i was planning on hitting two more bridge spots and a bridge spot that was uh closer to the Missouri River and trying to catch some fish but we already caught some fish above in this video and the little baby has some gastroenterological something or rather going on that she's pooping and puking so I better go home and help with that and we already caught some fish in this video so comment down below what should the punishment be for somebody literally just leaving the valve open for like two days just ruining this entire stretch of river 50 to 60 miles who knows how many fish got killed there was a ton back up there on monday today is a week later this is a week later i'm a week late to this and uh, i'm not sure what happened to all those fish by red oak whether they cleaned them up or what but there's lots of them there too lots of them here luckily mainly mainly invasives or uh what are they called naturalized common carps that's a bit the biggest one probably of the dead ones that i've seen but uh yeah if you guys want like an update video on this i'm pro i might make it anyway but just to be sure if you guys have any interest in an update video on this in like a month to see what fish moved up and if they're surviving or if you just want to see me fish the mouth of the missouri let's get this video to like four thousand likes which isn't much more than my videos get normally so if you have any interest in that and made it to the end of this video, give this video a thumbs up the butt. Or don't, I'm probably coming back anyway, but thanks for watching till the end. Really appreciate it, which it was a happier video, but it was a happier video than I expected it to be. Stuff and things, but close the valve and more stuff.